Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. I recently received a message from a photographer who said he posted one of his images on a photography forum online and he received a little bit of criticism from some of the members. And this was because he had the sun in the frame and they were basically saying we shouldn't shoot directly into the sun. And I'm sure as photographers you've all heard that advice before. But how relevant is it today with today's technology and software? Well, personally, I think it isn't very relevant. And I'm going to show you some example images of how shooting into the sun or including the sun in your frame can really add a new dimension to your images. So this is an image by B-Boy Photography and you can see it has the sun right in the middle of the frame and the effect is gorgeous. We have this huge amount of energy right there and the rest of the image is nicely clean and balanced. And without the sun there, I feel like the image wouldn't be anywhere near as impacting. The second image is by Michael Shanebloom, another very talented photographer. And again, he has the sun right in the center of the frame and it's lighting up the rocks in the foreground and it's perfectly complementary to the rest of the scene. Now personally, I also like to shoot directly into the sun. And here's an image of mine in China. And just like the other two, I put the sun right into the center of the frame. Having the sun there deepens the mood of the image because it creates those long shadows and those beautiful light rays. And here's an image from the US where I used sun spikes to add an extra element to the image. And if we never shoot into the sun or include the sun in the frame, we can never take advantage of those beautiful sun spikes. So why do some photographers say we shouldn't shoot directly into the sun? Well, that comes from an older time when we used to compose our shots through the viewfinder. We'd basically be staring directly at the sun, which would cause damage to our eyes. But with today's digital cameras, that's no longer a problem because we can compose entirely through live view. The other reason was because a lot of photographers said that it damaged the sensor in the camera. And while that may be true of older cameras, I think it's less true of newer cameras. I've been shooting directly into the sun for years and I haven't noticed any problems yet. And a lot of my photographer friends have been doing the same and they haven't reported any problems. It may be the case if you shoot considerably towards the sun on a regular basis, it might cause damage, but not if you're just doing it every now and then, or certainly not that I've experienced. Another problem is with flare. For example, on this image, if we just zoom into the bottom right hand corner, we have lens flare here, and we have a little bit more along here too. And while this was a problem with film photography, with today's digital cameras and Photoshop, we no longer have to worry about this so much. Let me show you how I get over flare in my images. Firstly, I take a normal shot. Then I take a second shot where I put my finger over the sun. And you can see in the corner here, we no longer have any lens flare. Then I'll layer them in Photoshop. I'll create a white mask on the normal layer. And then I'll choose a paintbrush, a black color, and I'll just start to paint out that top exposure. And let's make sure the blend is nice and natural. There we go. And we can just do the flare there. Now we have to make sure this is nice and clean. I'm just going to paint in some of that there. I didn't think the blend was too smooth. And that looks much more natural. So here is the before and after. And if you think any areas look inconsistent, we can just continue to paint until it looks more natural. And the final reason people say we shouldn't shoot into the sun is because we often have a greater range of light to deal with. For example, the sun here is hugely overexposed, but anyone who's been following my tutorials for a while will know that this is actually quite easy to overcome. And I'll show you how to do that here. So I have captured a darker exposure, which has the information in the sun, and there's the brighter exposure. Then I'm going to open up Raya Pro to create some luminosity masks. Or you can use your own luminosity mask software. So I'll go to luminosity masks. Then I'll create a black mask on the darker exposure by holding Alt or Option on a Mac and left clicking on that button. Then I'll create brights. These are my bright masks and I'll just look for a mask which suits the scene. Now firstly, I'm going to paint in the sky, just darken it a little bit. I'll press Command and H to hide the marching ants, make the brush a little bit bigger, set the opacity at around 30%, make sure the mask is selected, and now I'm just going to paint in some of the sky. And you can see we're just starting to bring some of that information back. 
and we can do it a little bit more there. And now I'm just going to concentrate on that particular area where the sun is. So this time I'm going to go to, let's say, a brights four. I look at the mask, make sure that's targeting the sun. And now I press Command and H again and just paint in the area of the sun. So I'm just going over it a few times just so we've darkened it nice and naturally. And Raya Pro users, if you want to deepen the sky a little bit more, we can go to Raya Pro, Blend, Enhance, Enhancements, and we can choose Darken Sky. And if that's affecting too much of the image, we can choose the mask and choose Apply to Highlights. And we can do that a couple of times. And that's the before and after. So we just bring in those highlights a little bit more and deepen the color as well. And of course, we can always reduce the opacity if we feel the effects a little bit too strong. So that's why I think the advice to not shoot under the sun is a little bit outdated. There are plenty of ways to get around the difficulties that we would face shooting into the sun and we don't have to damage our eyes. So next time someone says don't shoot into the sun, just give them this video and hopefully you might change their mind. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.